Hey guys, let's see how you can have an IP camera working with the Google TV. Here I have the camera already working. That's a Tapo C120, but it works with different cameras, okay? There are different ways to make it work. I'm gonna explain here, working with the VLC. Let me just uh, get the remote control here. So you see when I come here to home, it goes away, okay? And I have here a software. This is the Tiny Cam Pro. Okay, that's the software that I was using to test the cameras here. I have another video explaining how to use this Tiny Cam Pro. But today I'm gonna show you how you can use VLC player. So you can just stream a video from a camera directly to the VLC, okay? So back here to the VLC player. You see that I have this Tapo C120 that I can just click on it and stream. So it's basically take uh, takes a while to load and it gets the stream from the camera. In this case, the Tapo C120, right? Let's just do the same with the Tapo C216 so you see how it works. So the first thing that I have to do, of course, is install VLC here in your home TV. So basically you just need to come home and search for the app. So here I have the option to search. You see here, if I come to apps and then I just come down and search here, okay? I'm gonna look for VLC. That's the VLC player, media player, it's free. So come here and tap VLC and look for it, okay? Just wait for it to load. And there we go, see, see here, VLC for Android. As long as you have this, you're gonna install it, right? You're gonna see a welcome screen, a lot of information asking to you allow to have um, access to your uh, um, Chromecast, sorry. And then you just finish the installation and open it up, okay? So here I'm gonna open, I already have here, but uh, the first time that you open, you're gonna see this screen here, okay? After the welcome screen, you're gonna see this one. Then you just come down here to browsing and then come to streams, that's the one. And here now you're gonna insert this URL. It's a pretty long one, okay? See here, it's a pretty long one, but you're gonna type this one there. You can have the information here on the description. I will leave the information here, or I can just pause the video and uh, copy this one and paste it there, right? No, copy and paste, but type it here, right? So before doing that, before having this stream, uh, getting to work, you need to come to your camera and enable the RTSP protocol. Let me just show you what I mean here. So you see that I have different cameras. I have the Tapo C100, C200, C216. Let's just do with the 216, okay? So you get to the camera and you come here to settings. In here, you come to advanced settings and camera account. So basically you're going to create a local account. It's not your cloud account that you have with Tapo, it's just the local account, okay? In here, you see some information about enabling the account. You just hit here, create now. You can read this one and say that you understand. And now you just create an account here. Let me just type something here. Like this, you need to have at least six characters. So I'm gonna tap here, Tapo Add Me, okay? And you just create any password that you want to make it easier here. I'm just creating one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then you create an account. Okay, then you're good to go. I want, last thing that I have to check here is just come back here and check network settings. And here you're gonna see the IP address that your camera is using, okay? When you install your Tapo camera, your router is going to give the camera this IP address. So you just need to come here, hit static so the IP doesn't change and you're gonna have it. So simple like this, right? So that's all you have to do. Let me just come back here and show you one more time. That's super simple, okay? So you just come to your camera, in this case, Tapo 216, Advanced Settings, and then enable the account here, create a username and password, which we did already, 
and just come back and check the IP address because you're going to use back there, okay? So back here, you just need to enter all this information here. You type here RTSP, that's the protocol that the camera uses, uses, colon, backslash, backslash, here the username that we just created there on the camera, colon again, and then the password at the IP address of the camera, colon one more time, 554, and slash stream one, okay? That's for the top of cameras. If you have a different camera, that'll be different. Usually the uh, last part here changes. So you can just go to chat GPT, for example, and ask about your specific camera. What's the RTSP URL? So if your camera has RTSP, you can have this URL here with for your camera. Okay, so pretty simple. Or you can search in the user manual. So you just have this. For this camera, the IP is different, right? It's not 13. Let me just come here and remove the last part here and change the IP. So basically here for this camera is 216. Back one more time and then insert here the information. 216. And I need to enter again the port 554, which is a standard port for this protocol. And then for top of cameras, I need to use this stream one. You can also use stream two. Those are stream streaming with different resolution. Stream one. There we go. And I just come here, enter and wait for it to connect, and there we go. Already working pretty fast, okay? So that's the Tapu C216. It's a PT camera, which means it has pen and tilt, but I can't control the pen and tilt using a VOC stream. I just get, get video, right? If you want to control the PTZ, then you need to use another software. That's the Tiny Cam Pro that I show in a different video here, okay? Also for the Google TV, okay? But it's working at least. If you have a fixed camera, like this one, for example, like the Tapu C120, you can just uh, have the, the stream here on the VOC working like this. But if you have a PT camera and want to control, you cannot control with the VOC. You need to use another alternative, right? But it works pretty fine. And then you can just uh, hit uh, up here and come down and bookmark this or save to a playlist. I usually save to a playlist and I put an input a name here. Let's say, for example, let's just put something short, right? C216. And then every time that I need to get to your camera, it's easy to use that way, okay? And then come here and save, and I'm good to go. Let's say I come back home, I'm watching something here. Then what I need to do is just come to the VOC player and open it up again. Let's just go there. Open it up and select the playlist. So here I have two of them. Let's say Tapo C120. Hit here, play. And there we go. Okay. If I come back, I can select the other one, C216. Hit play. And it loads. There we go. Okay. So it works pretty fine. So basically that's the way you can have your camera streaming to your Google TV, okay, using VLC. It's free. Or you can use the Tiny Cam Pro if you want to have more cameras and control PT and have advanced features, right? I have another video here on the channel. You just look for it if you are interested in this one. This one is a paid version of a software. It's like $3.99 lifetime, so it's pretty cheap as well. And there's another option to do it, okay? So hope this helps. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your comments, and I see you in the next video.